was born under the sun So I'm I so afraid of you Made peace with all I've done But that just wasn't enough She's a wreck, she once or twice Yes, I am ashamed of it I try to keep my soul intact What else could I have done? I wanna say I Hey you guys, Aaron Dusty and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. Yes. <laughs> so as busy parents, one of the biggest questions we get is how do you guys make time to make healthy meals? We thought the easiest way to do this would be to just show you what we eat in a day. So we're gonna do just that and show you a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner. These are all plant-based, these are all super healthy, whole foods, mm -hmm. and relatively easy to make. Like Dusty said, these are all going to be delicious and nutritious, and it's kind of what we've been eating on the regular as of late. Yep. Bonus is that they are all kid-friendly, kid-approved, high in protein, high in plant-based iron, yes. and so much more. <laughs> Before we get going on breakfast, something we like to do is decide what we're having for dinner. It always involves some sort of bean, so we like to do dry beans and soak them. This here is just a variety pack from Bob's Red Mill, so pour a bowl of beans and soak them, and then we are doing the same with cashews because we are going to make a cashew cream sauce for dinner as well. So first up on the menu for breakfast is fresh fruit, a green smoothie, and some porridge. So if you guys know us, you know we love our green smoothies. I'm going to make a simple green version that's going to be sweet and give you all of the vitamins and minerals that you need. So we've got kale, about three to four frozen ripe speckled bananas, two cups to three cups of frozen mango, and two tablespoons of hemp seeds. So you can either use hemp, chia, or flax. Today we're using hemp seeds. They are a complete protein and packed full of healthy fats. So we're gonna pour everything into the blender, add a little bit of liquid. I usually just use water. Smoothie option number one is done. That will serve two with about 350 calories per serving. Another even quicker option would be Daily Harvest. We've mentioned them before in a previous video. We love these guys because they're all whole foods, plant-based ingredients, and everything is effortless and it's not going to spoil because they're all freezer friendly so you keep these in your freezer and grab one out when you have your hands full so i'm going to single-handedly make this banana and greens smoothie here you can see what's all in it anything that's got a star is organic and look at that it's everything okay so i did have to use two hands <laughs> So I usually just have a smoothie and some fresh fruit on the go, but I've also been cooking some breakfasts for Max's sake, things that are a little bit higher in protein and fats and iron. Iron is essential. So that brings me to my next point. This is something that we found that we really love, amaranth. It's a cousin to quinoa, so it's a seed, not a grain, and it is the highest source of iron of any seed or grain that we've found. So a quarter cup uncooked of this amaranth contains 20% iron, that's huge. I am going to create some porridge here. We've got three fourths cup of oat milk, quarter cup of amaranth ground into flour. You can also find the amaranth flour. We got this on Amazon and that's all it takes. So we've got the heat on the stove top on medium and we're just gonna let this come to a light simmer and you will see how quickly this amaranth really thickens up into a delicious porridge. Once it starts to heat up, you can turn it down to medium low and let it simmer, and this literally took two minutes with only two ingredients, just oat milk and the amaranth flour, and you can see how creamy it is. The only other two ingredients I'm gonna add are a ripe freckled banana and a little bit of almond butter for extra fat for Max's sake. So we've got our smoothie and our porridge, and like I said, I always have some kind of fresh fruit ready to go, whether I'm gonna pack it up in a Tupperware and run out the door, or top it on top of something like my porridge. We always share a little bit with Max, so there's some for him. He'll have some fresh berries and a good helping of porridge as well. Let's head on to lunch. All right, you guys, so Max usually naps around lunchtime, but that doesn't make us any less busy. That just means make food faster so we can get some work done. 
<laughs> that being said, we are going to have a soup and salad and we're gonna make the salad a little bit more hearty by adding in some healthy whole grains. So let's get going. So this is where daily harvest really comes in handy because like I said, I'm either scrambling to hurry and make something quick that I can munch on while I'm working on my computer at home or something that I'm taking with me out the door so that I can have it with me at the office when I'm working. So we're gonna do a soup today. This is the butternut squash and rosemary puree. I absolutely love all things sweet potato and squash. You guys know that. <laughs> all you have to do is fill it to the top with water, pop it in the blender, and then heat it really quickly on the stove. You can also heat it in the microwave, so you could blend this and then take it with you on the go and heat it at work. So in this one is butternut squash, kabacha squash, coconut, leek, garlic, apple cider vinegar, maitake mushroom, and rosemary. These seriously are so awesome. I love that they're all whole food ingredients. I'm really picky and choosy when it comes to pre-made meals, and these ones are so transparent so delicious on top of that. That's what really matters, right? No matter how busy you are, it's always important to include leafy greens into as much of your day-to-day -day meals as possible. If a salad and a soup doesn't fill you up, have no fear. We are going to add in a little bit of extra calories, something to make it a little bit more hearty for you with minimal amount of time or effort. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of baby kale and a little bit of arugula. My next recommendation is to just pick two of your favorite veggies, chop them, throw them in, and then add some type of healthy fat to help absorb all of those vitamins and minerals. So if you wanna make your salad a little bit more hearty, then usually what we'll do is we'll have some type of pre-cooked grain or legume or seed in the refrigerator. So this is a quinoa amaranth blend. Again, that amaranth we are just hooked on lately because, because it is so high in iron. So what I'm gonna do is just add a scoop of that on the side, add in the veggies, and then Usually what we do as a source of healthy fat slash dressing is we'll either dice up some avocado or mash it and whip it up and stir it into our salads to help make those leafy greens more palatable and to absorb as much nutrients as possible. If you were to take this entire meal with you on the go, then like I said, you would blend your soup and then you could just microwave or heat it wherever you end up for the day. And with the salad, I would recommend using a tall mason jar, stacking everything in it from the grains to your veggies with your leafy greens on top, and you could bring your avocado with you. So for dinner, I'd be lying if we didn't say our dinners were pretty simple most nights, like a one bowl or a Buddha bowl. Like we just roast some potatoes, throw some beans in the instant pot, maybe steam some kale, and do some like cashew cream sauce. So that's exactly what we're actually gonna be doing. Super simple, chop your potatoes, throw them in the oven. This 13 bean medley from Bob's Red Mill is one of Aaron and I's favorites. We've actually been eating it for probably longer than we've been vegan. Throw that in the instant pot for like 15 or 20 minutes, that'll cook up. Again, steam your kale and then blend your cashew cream sauce. Let's get into it. Now I'm blending up our soaked cashews from this morning to make our delicious cheesy cashew cream sauce. I will put the link below in the description to the full recipe. Okay, so our potatoes are pretty much done. I'm just gonna put them on a plate so we can share them for dinner. They took about 30 minutes in the oven at 425. So the beans also took about 30 minutes. I put them on a 15 minute bean setting and then let them slow release for another 15 minutes. So I'm gonna rinse these, simply add a little salt, pepper, and parsley, and mix them up in a bowl, and we're good to go. We are stemming our kale. Gonna rinse it off quick and throw it in the steam pot. All right, so we've got our roasted sweet potatoes, and we're taking a little bit more of our quinoa and amaranth that we had from lunch. We're gonna add that in there, as well as our bean mix. If you guys don't have this medley, we always have some type of bean, whether we do chickpeas, kidney beans, black beans, you name it. These are all great sources of protein and iron, like I said. Super important for not just growing babies, but for 
busy, sometimes a little bit stressed out moms and dads too. <laughs> and finally, I have this handy dandy fancy sauce bottle. We're gonna go ahead and put our cashew cream on top. Okay, if you guys have watched my Instagram stories, I'm actually in love with these things. Daily Harvest has been a huge lifesaver. This is dessert. These are our avocado and hazelnut bites. I'm gonna have some now. So, so good. So we fixed Max a little meal as we prepare our dinner. We had some leftover grains and sweet potatoes just popped out of the oven. We've got some oranges for that vitamin C and then some cauliflower and peas for all kinds of good minerals. And tons of iron here, tons of vitamins. He's not a picky eater and I think part of that is because we just try to enjoy our food along with him and let him experiment and try it all. All right, you guys, there you go. So you have a full day of eating, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What did we make? A smoothie, a salad, yep. a soup. This is pretty spot on to like most days. Yes. Not always glamorous, but hey, this is real life. All right, you guys, if you like this video, you know the drill, give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We would love for you to become a member of the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Turn that notification bell on so you'll get notified when we put out brand new delicious and nutritious content. And leave us some love in the comments below. Cheers! <laughs> we're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.